All right, Bailey, I'm seriously worried now. Just please give me a call as soon as you get this. Bailey, come on, try to relax, okay? I know they're fine. No, you don't know that. Damn it. I thought it was Bailey. Yeah, well, I, um, I have some bad news. She's not coming. She's, uh, she's not bringing Stuart here to Pine Valley. All right, now we're gonna have to be very subtle here. We're gonna have to show that a portion of the money brought in by the Miranda line, which was supposed to be used for charitable work, was actually diverted to fund one of Erica's for-profit projects. Fusion Glam. Excellent. Yes, exactly, right? People bought Miranda thinking they were helping the less fortunate, but the books will show that the money was used by Erica to launch a new project. That is called theft, making her a class A felon. Mm -hmm. And that makes you a genius. What? You came down real hard on me for going after Ryan. You said that you would end our marriage if I did anything like that again. But for whatever reason, you're okay with me helping you ruin Erica. Your plan was a secret. You did it behind my back because you didn't trust my commitment to this marriage. This is completely different. I'm working with you, not against you. Okay, so it's all right to be devious as long as we're being devious together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me now? More than anyone I've ever known. All right. Wow. Wow, let me just uh, go on record and is telling you that uh, I don't consider this business. I could sit here and watch you try and dress this for your gala all day. <sighs> well, these are not just any dresses. I mean, these are by the most brilliant designers in New York. So, what do you think? Stunning. You said that about every single dress I tried on. Yes, well, you see, the sad truth is you could put on a potato sack and still take my breath away. Honestly, you've looked gorgeous in each and every one of them. All right, then. <laughs> then this is it. All right. This is the dress. You sure? You sure you like it? I really, really like it. All right, then. <laughs> okay, then my, my gala business is done, Good. and uh, we can move on to our, our personal business. Monkey business. Just need to give me a moment, okay? I just need to make a call about getting the perfect pair of shoes for this perfect dress. You go. Okay. I'm gonna watch you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? You're the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, that's nice to hear. What did I do? For getting Erica out of town like I asked, so I can do what I need to do. No, 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 this, 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 this trip was Erica's idea. I had nothing to do with it. How the hell did you even know we were here? Your assistant, Charlene, told me. I'm hanging up now. Wait, 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 wait. Don't say anything to Erica. She can't know I'm working on something. Now listen to me, because I'm not going to say this again. I don't know what you're up to, but I don't want to be any part of it. Understand? Jean-Jacques, my Paris client, he is oat maintenance. Mm. Why are you lying to me? I, I was never very close with Stuart. But I do know that he was a remarkable man. <sighs> remarkable doesn't even come close. And he was hands down the best person that I have ever known. <laughs> Giving, compassionate, Selfless. Just like you. No, don't say that. I am nothing like my father. I told you that stuff would work. Still, I'm gonna have Lucretia whip you up some toast. And cookies. And cookies. Be back. Hey. Hey, hey handsome. <laughs> Hey, AJ, you want to go help your daddy with those cookies? Maybe you can bring one back for Nana. Ooh. Yeah? Give me a cookie. Cookie, cookie, cookie. 
I was so worried about you. I came by to take you home, and JR said he didn't want to wake you. He, he said you got drunk to protect him. God, ever since I woke up with my head pounding and my stomach inside out, I've been asking myself why. Why did I help JR after what he did to me? But I think I know why. Whatever it is, you can tell me. I drank because I didn't want to feel anything. You know, especially not what I was feeling for JR. I just wanted to drown it, you know, to make it disappear. But I still feel it. I can't stop loving JR.